Hello, people of YouTube. This is Super Dave here. Today, I'm at you for Robocraft. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a tier three flying machine. Mm. Oh, by the way, a quick note: it is not exactly um, built for flying and taking out so much. It's built for sniping mainly. So. This is not the video for you if you don't want to snipe people from above. So, like, it's mainly built for, um, basically supporting your friends. Like, oh, you see someone under, like, someone's being attacked by, like, your friend's being attacked by an enemy. Just shoot the enemy, and then, yeah. So here it is. Pretty basic design. Real gun on the bottom. Or, or I can just work with any gun, really. These are all the guns I have. It has a T5 on it right now, but you could have a T4. Or I guess you could have one of these plasmas or some kind of top mount. I would not recommend one of these, though. Okay, so now I'm just ready to build it. Let me just erase all this. So first thing you're going to want to do is um, stack up a few blocks. Um... I'm just doing this for just the sake. Now you want to put two blocks just like this. And what you do is take, oh yeah, forgot to tell you to manifest or whatever. You're going to need five helium tanks, four blocks, like four of any of these blocks, so. Um, 11 jets, actually no, that's a lie. A lot less than that. And one gun. Oh, plus four shields. Or, sorry, two left shields and two right shields. Now you're just going to want to put... Just like so. And then you want to put your four helium tanks like this. And now you take... Pilot seat, plop them down here. Now you take four of your jets, pop them down here. Oh, sorry, wait, you only need six jets. My bad. Not eleven. That's where I got the absurd number from. And you just pop them down there, here, and here. And now you plop the other two down here, and here. The next thing you're going to want to do is, um, what's called this? You put a radar jam in front, and it's either a radar or radar receiver. I haven't unlocked the radar receiver yet. So, yeah. And then you're gonna wanna get your shields and place them like this. So they look kind of like they're supposed to. Sort of like, um, see? This one's like this look. You can understand what I mean. I guess you do, at least. I guess you can do this all with one type of shield. Like, I guess you could do this with what kind of shield am I using right now? With all left shields or all right shields, I guess you could only do. Like it, I'm pretty sure the left shield is the first. Yeah, no, the right shield is the first thing you unlock. So you could just put all right shields if you want. I haven't tested that though, so you might not want to do that. Oh, and if you can't hear this, uh, like me going over all these things, it's because I muted that part, because, I don't know. And then you just want to put your gun on bottom, and that's basically it. So now I'm going to show you a little gameplay. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not very good. I've only been playing this game for like six days, almost a week, I guess. Let's see, I even named it Sniper. Because that's really all it is. I'll also sh be showing you how you can mod it, but I wouldn't recommend this. So as you can see, it flies pretty straight. You can turn. And as you can also see, I'm floating upwards slowly. That's one of the things you could add on. You could add some upwards facing jets. I just never liked those because then they made me fall forward. And I didn't like that. 
I love that new feature. Just lets me see an enemy and Oh, I lost sight. <laughs> Missed. Oh yeah, as you can see you get a little knockback. Well a big knockback from that. So you do not want to move like I just did. You don't want to move immediately after shooting it. And something uh, battle tactics I use is that I face sideways to my enemy normally. At least I try to. That way if they try shooting up at me, they'll, there'll be a chance that they'll hit my shield. So now I should have perfect aim. And there we go. One of the number one things you do not want to do, though, is get yourself spotted. That is bad. Ooh. So he flipped over. Wah wah. Maybe there's another guy over there. See, so it brings a lot of support craft. And that's why I say you should have the radar receiver, but Oh yeah, that's another good thing. This that's another good thing that this thing is good for. The whatever. Is that you can spot your enemies. I know you can't hear anything, so I'm sorry. But you can spot your enemies by scoping. And I missed. That is a problem. And he's probably dead. And they are outnumbering us. This is really bad. This is like one of my worst rounds in a while. Okay, let's see. That guy's doing damage, so I just gotta... Okay, there we go. Friend's safe now, I think. Nope. So, someone has some firepower. Somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he is right next to me. Did not see that. I missed. He is right there. And we lost. Oh well. Yeah, something you can do is if you want to, you could add a couple more jets right here, and here, and here, and here. That's a lot of jets. Or maybe you should just, I don't know. I don't really use this that much, so I don't... Like, maybe I just deleted that I didn't want to. I know I deleted something I didn't want. I can't tell. Okay, I guess I didn't. Whatever. So let's practice. Let's see how well this fires up is. And... It is it balanced? That's my main problem. Is I want us to be able to fly forwards and turn side. Oh, what? Oh. That's what I deleted. Yeah, you really need those shields because they really protect your. I'm not. Pro well, yeah, they protect, but it really also balance out your craft a lot. So let's see, balance is still okay. Turning is a little off though. It's back to its original turning, which is shitty. And how does it fly up? Oh, pretty good. Same problem as before though. I had a problem before. 
where it basically I had to drive forward or else I'd flip it back over. Which is sort of happening, yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not. The only reason you'd ever want to fly up in the first place is just so you could get that precise accuracy. Like I am right now on that guy. Hmm. So if you want to sacrifice turning your ability a little bit, it's not that bad really, for flying upwards faster, go ahead and do it. I think I'm just going to leave it this way because I don't really care. And I missed. That is so morbid. I have to self-destruct to get out of training or practice, whatever. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more. Super Dude out.